It seems that Diddy used baby oil on French Montana. Does Diddy actually do this or not? That is, did he or did he not? That's what we've been trying to find out, you know. As it seems like the game is the one releasing it to the public. This really leaves the streets in a state of amazement. All that is known about them at the time is that French Montana and Diddy were close, as was the game. What precisely took place at that moment? Let's get going now. As you may recall, the game and his brother Big Face 100 collaborated on a mixtape that was released in 2001 to commemorate the start of their serious music careers. Diddy got his hands on that cassette. Diddy spent two years shopping, befriended the game, and bought him expensive gifts, yet he never signed the game to Bad Boy. I'm kicking it with Diddy, right? I ran around with Diddy for two years, uh, damn near. Um, and this Diddy, we never went to the studio one time, but he was like, yo, I your demo, that you know, bad boy, bad boy, but hey, playboy, hey, 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 here go away, boy, here go a chain, playboy. I'm like, yo, we ever gonna rap? Like, nah, 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 Diddy is well known for showering newly discovered celebrities with cash, but he takes his own time getting started in the business. Rumor has it that before formally adding them to the team, he would need to devote a lot of time and attention to them. Now, these aren't even my words, this is the exact subject that has been making the rounds on the internet, so please don't pursue me. You may remember that Usher also claimed that Diddy was delaying his signing with Bad Boy and keeping him back. I was there because I wanted a career, man, so we would fight, we would tussle. <laughs> More than often, I think Puffy would say, man, you gotta chill, like, you're just a little bit too intense. The shocking thing is that none of it happened to French Montana. It happened fast for him. Actually, Diddy made a great deal of noise over his official signing. Many people became suspicious that things might not be entirely right as a result of that. Some individuals on the streets claim that Diddy has been surrounded by much more talented musicians, like as the game. Therefore, why French Montana? To be honest, the only French song we can still remember is Unforgettable. Not a single other song written by man comes to mind. When questioned in an interview how close he was to Diddy and the reason Diddy referred to him as his guardian angel, French Montana responded, Me and Puff became very close over the years, despite the general assumption that Diddy had kept his relationship with French Montana hidden. Puff became very close over the years. Yeah, yeah. He called you like guardian angel and so. Yeah. About, I mean, we was we was doing a lot of business together. We were doing a lot of business together, and and you know, he was he was somebody that was making money without. Now, so because they were doing business, Diddy called French Montana his guardian angel. That makes sense then. You know that I personally had the chance to remind you of some of these people's allegedly irrational actions, even though it doesn't seem to be mentioned. Although I'm not suggesting Diddy mistreated the French, we must consider all of their past behavior and records in these neighborhoods, sweetheart. Diddy had a long-standing practice of bringing women to his studio sessions and then extending an invitation for them to come to his house, where it is rumored that they would give these women drinks so they could have intercourse with him without asking their permission. In case you guys didn't know, this woman had previously sued French Montana for the exact same reason. She says she was attacked at French Montana's house at a party while she was allegedly drunk. You guys are also undoubtedly aware that French Montana almost overdosed on drugs during his stay in the intensive care unit ICU. This is the reason the Columbia authorities searched his private plane thoroughly a few years ago while he was visiting and leaving the country. Columbia, I love y'all. But y'all ain't have to do me like this. I ain't have to have them dogs in there like that. Is it absurd to think Diddy has influenced these kinds of behaviors since their early days of hip-hop collaboration? Speaking of which, should we disregard French Montana in light of all these charges surrounding Diddy's behavior with both sexes? But given how much time they spent together and the fact he couldn't sign, it seemed as though the game and Diddy were engaged in a kind of cold war. He came out a while back and revealed everything when asked if he had worked with any gay artists. Having made the connection now, we can state that he was referring to Diddy when he answered this question. The exciting part begins at this point. On the internet, there are allegations that this particular game isn't flawless. They don't believe Diddy tried nothing at all, or that he would be great with him for two years without anything odd happening. Like this fan who said of him in an interview, I spent two years partying and running around with Puff furthermore, Diddy has a tremendous reputation in those fields. Thus, it's natural to believe he had an influence on the game. 
We should be aware that the game was once forced to pay $7 million following the loss of a sexual assault lawsuit. According to sources, the victim won the case in court. She was a contestant on the dating show She's Got Game where women compete to date the game. She sued him for $10 million, saying that he had repeatedly touched her while intoxicated and uncontrollably in 2015. The game's legal team attempted to discredit her by bringing up her history as an ex-employee and her stay in a mental health facility. Sadly, however, their scheme failed and the game's bank account was left empty to the tune of $7 million. This is by no means the first legal controversy involving the game. He was imprisoned for beating up a fan in 2005, not long after he met Diddy. The next year, he resisted arrest after being charged with disorderly behavior. After being taken into custody in 2007 for reportedly threatening to shoot a gun, he was charged with assault and violence in 2012. It's reasonable to assume that Diddy was keeping the game under wraps. Because there are reports circulating that the game might have lately made a commitment to a beef with French Montana. Because Montana was signed immediately, and Diddy did not sign her, even after they had been rolling together for two years. It's quite bad he thought it was ride or die, but he was merely an Uber for a short period of time. How on earth does he express his disappointment with such passion, honey? After a few years, at the very least, when all of these Diddy charges initially appeared, the internet was alleging that the game was the one who released the widely shared video of French Montana, allegedly having a bromance. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of One guy said, oh yeah, French is his best friend and has been so quiet French's career was having difficulty taking off. I wonder whether he took Diddy up on his offer and got his hit song in return. I believe it was widely known that French and Diddy were in a relationship a few years ago, said a more commenter. I don't think it was a secret and one guy said, it looks like the French are in pain. Too much suffering to just sit still. LOL, shaking my head. However, I would now like to know your thoughts. Do you guys think that French only wanted to work with Diddy because he was actually attracted to him? Do you folks believe that the game has shown justice? You can see everything well. Kindly offer your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to click this link to see this other incredibly awkward video. Give those thoughts up and I'll talk to you all later.